think that's what it is. I think everyone's looking at efficiencies right now. You well, know? you know, I, I've been working from home uh, <laughs> probably for three months, right? And, um, you know, I, I filled up my tank March 15th and haven't put gas in it since. I get incredible gas mileage now. <laughs> yeah. And you, you ponder, like, would I have a second car if I worked at home? Would, I, would we really even need it? And, you know, I think a, a lot of the consumers are going to be, you know, they've been working at home, what have you. They've learned to get by without this or without that. And whether they come around again and say they want to take on that extra debt or they want to, you know, uh, revisit that, um, I think that'll change too. Uh, certainly uh, the way we spend money and the way we look at it as consumers is, is greatly going to change as well as their work. You know, they'll, they'll discover, geez, you know, uh, might be at home and I hated that commute. And I've been, and I feel better, uh, you know, I take walks in the morning or whatever it is. And uh, I, it wouldn't surprise me if a number of people who found that they're working at home or what have you decide they want a job that they can, even when they're able to go back. It's going to be a different story. I, I, I'm, I'm with you on that. I mean, I've, I'm talking to a handful of salespeople right now that are, you know, trying to work with their dealerships to kind of come up with a hybrid of, you know, do they really need to be in the dealership right now? You know, I have one gentleman that's been working in the dealership for the last 23 years at a Lexus dealership. Um, he, he's been selling through this entire time frame. But that's because he's been at the dealership for 23 years, all right? right? It's, you know, whenever their customers, whenever his customers had a, a question or a concern, they never dialed the dealership phone number. They always dialed his phone number, you know? So he's, but, but he's been able to go into the dealership once a week or once every other week just to, you know, deal with some of the, the paperwork and be face to face with them. But, you know, he's like, look, I'm very, very efficient from home right now. In fact, actually, he's like, I'm getting more done right now than I have in the past because I'm at home, the you know the pager's not going off, I don't have 15 other salespeople looking for this or asking about that. It's like, it's just very laser targeted right now. So I wonder, I wonder, and I'd love to get your thoughts on this, is does this change the way uh, a sales floor looks? Does this change, you know, can this potentially change the way you know our showroom operations looks? Uh, what are your thoughts on that, Todd? I, you know, my personal feeling is I hope it does. I hope the um, I hope the hours change that we're open. Um, a lot of guys work Sundays. Uh, not here in Nova Scotia, but I mean, certainly when I was selling cars, we were open Sundays. And uh, it's hard if you're if you're a family guy, you have kids, you have a seven day a week job, you're working till nine at night. Quite often, it's a ghost town at seven, right? You know, whatever it might be, we'll get on the phone then, right? <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff starts to roll in. But, uh, you know, if there was some sort of a setup where they could possibly, you know, be available from home after six or whatever it might be, whatever kind of a, a shift, I think uh, one of the challenges you find certainly in the sales thing is not a lot of people want those kind of hours if they can avoid. It. It's hard on some, you know, hard on a family guy. Like yeah, if you're single and you're loving it, and you're, you know, it's a whole different ballgame. But when you, when you have kids and dinners and you're trying to run around and get people to their hockey games and and all that, um, those long hours of non-productive work, like, you know, you can say, you know, the sales rep should be making calls, doing this, doing that. Uh, but, you know, nowadays with, you know, the help of uh, technology, digital, they can do a lot of that. They don't have to be sitting there. And maybe, maybe in a perfect world over these past two or three months, a lot of the management across the country will say, you know, they were actually working from home. <laughs> You know, I don't have to be fearful that they will go home and they won't do anything about be paying them. I need to see them sit there. You know, they need to be polishing that seat all day. <laughs> right? Maybe, maybe it'll be. Uh, you know, the world didn't end. They worked at home, and uh, and possibly more productive on some aspects.